Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm coming to you with a video on decluttering and organizing your closet. I decided that it's finally time to take out my fall clothes, but this means putting some of my summer clothes away. So I got this jumbo bag and I prepared the donation bag and I kind of got started. I struggle a little bit with this because in Portugal, the fall season is still kind of summery. So it's really hard to decide what is summer clothes and what is winter clothes and what falls in between. So what I recommend doing if you're unsure is to literally just take everything out of your closet. I know for a fact some pieces like these ones, which are really colorful and very small, are pretty much summer pieces and all of my colorful pants and beach dresses. So there are some pieces that are clearly summer pieces that I will get um, out of my closet. I already purchased two new pieces for this year's fall capsule wardrobe, which are these two pieces. And so I'm very excited to show you guys the process. So everything comes out. As you can see, I put it on my desk. I recommend putting on a show because it keeps you entertained. These are my fiance's clothes, so I'm just going to leave them in there. And I'll be going through these bags a little bit later. So as you can see, I was left with this giant mess to deal with and my best friend was sitting here watching Gilmore Girls with me and I just kind of tackled this slowly. At this point, my dog decided he wanted to be packed away as summer clothes, so he took over my little bag meant for my summer clothes. And so started the process of me putting everything away. All of my colorful accessories I put in a bag. I kept all my caps and things like that because I still use them in the fall. And then I put away all of my like flowy, colorful, very light summer pants because they're just a little bit too colorful for the fall, if that makes sense. I decided to donate some summer dresses that I hadn't worn in a long time. I only kept the black version of it for the beach. These are the summery tops that I told you guys about before, so I'm kind of just sorting through them and putting all of the hangers back into the closets. And all of my blouses I end up putting back because I just feel like blouses are so thin that they're perfect for each season, so I kind of use them for like all of my seasons. And this is a little bit of the color palette I was going for for my capsule wardrobe. There's a lot of neutrals. There's some olive greens. Then it was time to sort through my jeans and I wanted to show you guys this neat trick that my fiance taught me um, to fold your jeans. So you fold them into the middle, the top part, and then you fold the bottom part in between the two halves of the top part. I guess it made sense if you guys saw what I did. I'm gonna do it a, a bunch of times with these new pairs so you guys can look at it and learn, but they stay really nice and put in place. So I really like this trick. I'll also let you guys know why I have so many different pairs of jeans that look identical. It'll make sense in about two seconds. So basically I have two versions of each color of pants because one is a skinny version and one is flared. And mostly the reason I have a skinny version is because I have knee high boots. So I can't be putting, um, you know, large or wide jeans into knee high boots. So I pretty much have like a dark skinny and flared, a light skinny and flared, and then this white pair of pants that is just flared. So the next thing I did is I went through my drawers. That's where I have like my basic t-shirts and any tops. And I just decided if any of these were just summer pieces, like these, for example, are clearly like very summery pieces. So I put them away, but mostly I use my basic t-shirts all year long. I also sorted through my crop tops because there are some crop tops that I'm obviously not gonna be wearing in the fall season. And then I went through my hoodies and just took out a few that I wanted to add into my other closet. I keep my sweaters and my hoodies um, folded the Marie Kondo way um, and I love how they just stack really neatly and I can see all of them so I highly recommend if you're not doing this already. I also always throw like a little smell packet in my clothes when I store them away for this season because I find that then they smell really nice when I go get them again. Then I grabbed my bags of clothes from last year and I kind of sorted through them. These are leggings, so I like to roll them up. They're still a little bit warm for right now, but I prefer to just have them out for when it does start getting a little bit chillier. And so I keep them nice and rolled up right here so that I can see all of them and grab them really easily. 
and this is what it looked like with all of the pieces inside. I'm really happy with my capsule wardrobe for this year. I think that all the pieces for like the tops and the bottoms go together very nicely. So it's just really easy for me to put outfits together. And I also wanted to show you guys how I put my outfits together because I use a Pinterest. So I find inspiration for all my fall outfits on Pinterest, but I also have an app that allows me to like mix and match all of my pieces with minimal effort. So I wanted to show you guys how I do that. So I use this free app and it's called Lookscope. You can download it on the app store and it's really easy to use. And I have all my clothes in here and it's actually absolutely no work to set up. I'm gonna teach you guys two really easy ways to do this. You don't have to take pictures of all your clothes because that's a bunch of work and I completely understand. So what I do basically to have all of these, you know, these are a few outfits that I had for the summer. So for example, um, this is one that I had from last fall that I already have in here. And to make this, basically, there are two ways you can do this. And the first way is as you shop, whether you shop online or whether you shop in store, you keep screenshots of the products directly from the website. So let's just say that I bought a sweater from Zara. I would go on Zara.com, even if I bought it in a store, I would look for the sweater. It's easier to do this as you go, obviously. Um, the other way to do it is if you shop online, you can add a little widget for Pinterest onto your browser and then just kind of pin things that you buy into a board as you go. So I just wanted to show you guys a little bit of my Pinterest inspiration. I have like this fall 2022 outfit inspo. And as you can see, there's like very basic outfits that are like elevated and I think they're very classy. So I have this board. This one is a two by board. So these are things I don't own yet, but do want to add to my capsule and winter wardrobe this year. And so what I would do is I would find the piece and then using the editor from my iPhone, I would kind of crop it already to make it easier. And then I save this to my photos. And then I go back into the Lookscope app and I press this plus button. You have to allow access to your photos, obviously. You press on the piece that you want you tell it which body part it is. So in this case, it's like a long sleeve. You adjust it and then you press add or next and you can use their automatic background remover. But for example, for this piece, it didn't work at all. So all I did was go to the color settings and just select more light and then kind of the background disappears. And then you can select color. I recommend doing this because then it helps the app know what to pair together. I select fall for season because again, the overview is nicer and you can even select the style, which is nice. And then you click done and the piece will appear in your closet. The other way that you can do this, if there are pieces that are older and you're starting now, is just going on Google Images and searching a very similar piece. So let's say that you had a white blouse. You don't need it to be identical to the white blouse that you have. It just needs to stand and represent that white blouse to help you pair outfits together. So you just find a picture of a white blouse like this one, you screenshot it, and you basically go through the same process that you just went through for the sweater. So you crop it, you add it, it's really, really easy. Once you have that, you can select your new piece and you can click on the button that says try on. And what this does is it gives you different outfit suggestions. And when you find a piece that you like, you can pin it. So for example, these boots are a great combo. I really like the blouse. So I am able to swipe through the bottoms now until I find bottoms that I like. And it has these flared black leggings. I think this looks really cute. So then I would favorite this outfit and it would appear in my favorited outfits. Um, and there you have it. If I scroll up, here it is. And this makes it super easy for you to not only make outfit combinations when you're feeling uninspired because the app kind of gives you ideas, but also, for example, to pack. If you like this video, don't forget to give me a big thumbs up and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.